says he inhabits, he inhabits the praises of his people. He inhabits, he inhabits the praises of his people. Oh, hallelujah. That's right. Come on, praise him. Come on, let everything that have breath, let everything that have breath. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but this is my life. Yes, and praise is what I do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody just begin to glorify God. Come on, just begin to glorify God. Hallelujah. Huh? As long as I am breathing. I will always worship you as long as I am breathing. I will always worship. Is my worship all of my worship? Receive my worship, all of my worship. Anybody want them just to receive it? Here's my worship. Here's my worship to you, God. All of my worship, receive my worship. Don't let no sin stand in the way. All of my worship, here's my worship, here's my worship. I Anybody's testimony today. I, I will always worship you. As long as I'm breathing, as long as I'm breathing, as long as I am breathing, I.
one time. Here's, here's my worship. Praise, amen, for what he's doing in your life. Worship is for who he is. Praise is for what he has done. And if God has done anything for you, put your hands together if you can. Amen. And tell God, thank you. If he took you through another week, giving you victory over the enemy, you ought to give God some praise. But this is the day that the Lord has made. And I don't know about you, but I come to rejoice and be glad in it. But with all that's going on, praise God. I thank God for another day. Amen. Is anybody in here thank God for another day, for another week, for another victory? Come on, give him praise. Amen. Somebody had a press even coming to church. So let's God, let's thank God for him. Amen. For what he has done. Amen. I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. Amen. With all the storm, the North Jersey and the hurricane. And when I went outside, the sun was shining. I said, I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on him amen because god is good and i'm grateful with so many people going the other way i'm pressing towards the lord the, the bible said it's time to seek the lord do i have a witness here amen it's time to seek the lord the city of refuge our help and our strength before we go forward i want to thank everyone that has participated in our book back drive book back drive amen we're looking for a hundred students that we're trying to bless we're almost there amen next saturday we believe in god that we can be a blessing to the students in our community amen of all ages please let those in your families and your friends and in the community know that they can come whosoever will let them come amen and we are believing god that we'll do even greater next year i believe we're gonna meet our 100th goal we got a week to go so the lord touch your heart Amen. Continue. But I want to thank everyone that has already done it. Amen. We also want to give God praise. Amen. For keeping power. Keep our families in prayer. Those who have lost their loved ones. Amen. Those who are grieving and, 
amen, dealing with uh, the loss of their family members. I want you to keep them in prayer, amen. Each one, I, I tend to forget names, so I don't want them to go through the list, amen. But if you know someone who has lost someone, amen, keep the families in prayer. And we, we need support from the church and each other in this last hour. Do I have anybody here that's a witness? Amen. We need each other more than ever, more than ever. Amen. Any other time, we need each other. Is that right? Amen. I got a blessing for you this morning, amen, for our pastor, Patricia Turpin, who is a pastor of Eternal Purpose Life Christian Center. Amen. Charlotte, North Carolina. She is a daughter. Amen. Carrying the word of God today. Let's give God a praise for those, our sister who is going to break the bread of life. In Jesus' name, amen. You can be seated in the presence of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. It's just good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. Among you, the people of God. Amen. We give honor to God today. Amen. Honor and respect to our bishop, our founder, our overseer, Bishop Dennis Thompson. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Thank the Lord. And standing right by his side, none other than our elect lady, Dr. Cheryl Thompson. God bless you. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And interceding in the gap, none other than our assistant pastor, assistant pastor Dwayne Parker. God bless you, sir. Amen. And your lovely wife, Sister Kim. God bless you. Amen. To all of our elders on today, all of our elders, our ministers, our deacons, apostles in the house, every brother, every sister, every missionary, every evangelist, every saint, of the Most High God, to our musicians on this morning. God bless you. God bless you all. To every usher standing on the door in the house of God. To you, the Lord's people. Come on, clap your hands to the Lord, everybody. <laughs> clap your hands to the Lord and be glad that you're here this morning. Glory to God. Thank God. I do want to give honor and respect to my own mom, Mother Harper, this morning. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Glory to God. I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord today. Amen. Amen. The Lord says, come into his presence with singing and know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made you and not you yourself. Glory to God. Let me say that again. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and unto his course with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Let me say it with attitude. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and unto his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Well, why? Because the Lord is good. His mercy endureth forever and his truth endureth. Dang. They used to sing a song, he didn't have to let me live. Oh, you know what? Glory to God. He didn't have to let us live. Thank you, Jesus. I'm moving on. 
I'm moving on. Let us go to the word of the Lord. I'm just glad to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Glory to God. My, 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 um, I'm acting different. My brother-in-law is here today. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And truly, if I drop the mic, he'll pick it up. He's sitting right there on the road with my mom. Glory to God. Amen. If I drop the mic, he'll pick it up. So, glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. We thank God for you, the Lord's people. Let us look to the word of the Lord, St. John chapter number 12. Amen. I want to take this time to acknowledge the portion of Eternal Purpose Worship Center who is watching with us on today. Thank you so very much. Amen. And thank you all for your prayers on this morning. We thank God for all of you who are watching by way of Facebook, YouTube, whatever uh, form of social media that you are watching. We pray, God, that the same anointing that is resting in this sanctuary would rest with you wherever you are. Why? Because there is absolutely no distance in God. Believe it or not, we can pray here and God will move there. Why? Because he sent his word and he healed them. Also, the presence of the Lord is everywhere. He is omnipresent. I'm so glad about that. I'm so glad that I don't have to be in the sanctuary for God to bless me. I'm so glad that I can be behind the steering wheel in the car and call on his name and he'll be present. So glad that I can be washing dishes, thinking about the goodness of the Lord, and the tears are still streaming down my face. Hallelujah. Can be lying in the bed next to my husband, glory to God, yet talking to God. Hallelujah. He is a one-on-one -on -one personal, personal, personal Savior. Glory to God. The word of the Lord this morning, St. John chapter number 12. Amen. And we're just going to start reading. Glory to God at verse number 20 through verse number 23. Thank you all. Amen. St. John chapter number 12, starting at verse number 20. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. St. John chapter number 12, verse number 20 through verse number 23. The Bible says, and there were certain Greeks. Does yours say that? Thank you, I'm in the right place. And there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same came, therefore, to Philip, which was of Bethsaida, of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we would see Jesus. Philip comes and tells Andrew, and Andrew and Philip tell Jesus. And Jesus answered them, the hour is come that the Son of Man must be glorified. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, the hearing, and most definitely those who do his word. Amen. This is August 22nd in the year of our Lord 2021. We are just so grateful to God that he allowed us to make it through 2020. Amen. We never thought, we never perceived in our lifetime, amen, that we would go through as a nation, as a country, as a world, glory to God, what took effect in 2020. But according to the status and systems of this life, it's not over yet. But one thing about our God, he yet remains the same. Psalms 130. Eight, I believe it is. It's either 138 or 139. It says, when I awake, I awake with him still. Glory to God. So every night when I go to sleep, when I wake up in the morning, I'm still with him. One of these days when I wake up in the morning, I won't be on this side. But guess what? I'll still be with him. Hallelujah. The word of God is true. And every promise in him is yes and amen. He is not a God that he should lie. If God has said something to you, we can still trust that God is going to bring it to pass. That it is still going to work together for our good. Now, I was just doing a study on 
the anointed oil. And I was looking at the different ingredients that went into making the anointed oil. And they had some oil that were bitter, that were mingled in with the oil that was sweet. And the bitter oil was like 500 shekels. And then the sweet oil was 250 shekels. So it took half a mount uh, of the sweet oil mixed with 50% more of the bitter oil. But I want you to know that all things will still work together for your good. No matter how much bitter, y'all don't hear what I'm talking about this morning. No much how much bitter you have gone through. God still has some sweet glory to God that will come through. Hallelujah. And God still has an anointing for your life. Amen. And wherever you are today, your life is not done. God is not through blessing you. And the devil is still a liar. Yes, some of us have had some hard times. Some of us have had some struggles. A lot of things that's going on right now, we still can't put the finger on to understand. But understand this today. Because you're able to hear my voice, because you're in this sanctuary or wherever you are viewing today, God has not forgotten about you. He still knows you. He knows your name. He knows the number of hairs that is on on your head he promised never to leave you nor to forsake you he will be with you and even this this too shall pass the devil is a liar this too shall pass you will come out of this you will come through this you are going to get through this whatever this is I'll say it again because the devil is a liar he is the omnipotent the all-powerful the almighty God the God that cannot fail the God who is with you the God who is on your side the God that will be God when all of this is done when heaven and earth pass away he will still be God creating a new heaven and a new earth and a new Jerusalem we're still going to be with our God and our God reigns I said our God reigns I said our God reigns I said I said I'll say it again our God he reigns and he reigns forever he is king of kings he is lord of lords he is the El Shaddai he is the almighty God he is the creator of all glory to God and in him there is no failure at all I wish somebody would just believe the report of the Lord on today who hath believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed can God still be God in 2021 I say can God still is he still God is he is there a remnant in the house is there a remnant in the house that know that your God is not a weak God that still knows that the enemy is defeated even though your part has pain even though there is pain in your chest even though there is discomfort even though God has not done everything the way you wanted him to do I can't get no help right there even though the God who sits high the God who is in control has not done everything that you wanted him to do and definitely has not done and definitely has not done it the way you wanted him to do it or the way you thought he would do it why because he is God and you are not say that again because he is God and I am not but nonetheless God still I don't know how oh God I can't go this way but I don't know how God stepped in the situation and turned it around I don't know how he stepped in the mess and put it together I don't know when he came in the room and dried the tears from my eyes when did he put the pieces of my heart back together when did I stop crying God is God and beside him there is none other I tell you today you better go back to believing God God is with you what has happened we have got distracted but Hebrew says looking unto 
Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and now is set down at the right hand of God. So therefore, brothers and sisters, look away from everything that has distracted you, whatever has taken your first love away from God you gotta release that thing now go back to God and tell him that you need him go back to God and tell him that you want him the only way we are truly going to be successful in this life we got to go back to God and remember that we are not led by ourselves but we are led by the Holy Ghost the Spirit of God then shall you know glory to God if you continue in my word then are you my disciple indeed help me God let me tell you this it's not about just getting on it's not about just embracing the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior but you've got to continue you've got to follow on so what you've been saved for 50 years are you continuing are you following oh God this message is all wherever the Lord wants to take it glory be to God so what you've been in church 10 years are you following the Lord I want to tell you what 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 I'm in trouble I might as well go ahead I'm telling you what 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 has gotten us in a lot of trouble is that when we came in here when we came in here father forgive me when we came in here we learned church and forgot about Jesus we learned church and we know how to do church. We know that in 11, 10, 50, they're going to start praying. At 11 o'clock, they're going to stop praying. About 11.30ish, the preacher going to have the mic. About 11, about 12.45, the preacher's going to be done. Well, where, 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 where is Jesus in all of the process of your formalities of going through the rituals because the Bible tells me that for 400 years God didn't speak between Malachi and Matthew years of silence but because of what had been handed down from generations people still kept coming to the synagogue people still kept coming to the temple people still kept offering up their lambs their bulls and their turtle doves and the sacrifices but God was not there Lord have mercy what God wants us to do is go back and see him Lord let me just preach my message so that I'll be in this message because I feel myself going that way the Bible lets us know glory to God that each and sit down I'm starting over glory to God I'm starting over Bishop I'm starting over I'm starting over glory to God it is so good for me to be here in the presence of the Lord with you the mighty people of God this morning hallelujah and to God be the glory for the good things he has done unto us it is good and pleasant for brethren to dwell together in unity what a mighty God we serve this morning glory to God and the Bible teaches us here in the book of Saint John that it was time for the feast of the Passover glory to God and so many devout Jews had come from wherever they were living to Jerusalem hallelujah to the feast of the Passover that was the command amen that we all come together to Jerusalem amen and we celebrate the Passover no matter what nation you're living in glory to God at the time of the feast you are to make that pilgrimage to Jerusalem now let us understand that it has always been the will of God for God to be the savior of the world not the Jews only but also the Jew and the Gentile God has always been an all-inclusive God and if you think that only God's people the Israelites... <coughs> 
Glory to God. If you think they are the only ones who came out of Egypt, you are mistaken. Hallelujah. Trust me, there were some of the other folk also that went marching out along with them into the wilderness. Glory be to God. God has always made a way of escape for anybody who would look to him. Hallelujah. And so now, glory to God, Jews and Gentiles have come to Jerusalem for this time of the feast of the Passover. And the Bible says that Jesus comes riding on a coat. He comes into Jerusalem riding on a coat, which is a prophetic word, glory to God, which is a prophecy that comes from the book of Zechariah, chapter number 9 and verse number 9. Hallelujah. And so it tells them, the daughters of Zion, behold your king. He's coming to you riding on a coat. And so here comes Jesus. And the people began to pay him worship and obedience and omniscience and all. They're worshiping him as he's riding in on this donkey. And they cut down the palm branches. Palm branches meaning peace, meaning rest at the a sorrow. Amen. And some of them were believing that he was riding in to overthrow the Roman government. Not realizing and knowing, glory to God, that the kingdom that the Lord was setting up is the kingdom of our God on the inside of us, his people. Not realizing that now, of According to the book of Corinthians, our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And God has said that he would dwell on the inside of us. And so now we represent him as believers. We represent him in this earth. And so as Jesus rides in on this donkey, glory to God, they begin to say, Hosanna, Hosanna, Lord, save us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. They're worshiping him. They are praising him. They're giving him, him the glory and the honor that he deserves. Glory be to God. They're having this gigantic parade. Everybody is there. People from everywhere are there some of them are Jews and these Jews they have been Jews all their lives and so they know all the traditions they know the Pentateuch they know by heart the first five books of the Bible they know God's laws they know everything there is to know about Jehovah God but he still had a secret glory be to God amen glory to God that was not revealed unto them hallelujah and so in this crowd of people everybody is there did you hear me say everybody then I said everybody I wish you could say everybody now who was there I said who was there I said who was there all right amen everybody was there glory be to God and in this crowd not too many days before this time Lazarus had been raised from the dead Lazarus had been raised from the dead by Jesus. Now they, his brother Lazarus' sisters, Mary and Martha, had sent a note to Jesus. And the note said that Lazarus, your friend, is dead. But Jesus did not immediately go to where they were in Bethany. Jesus stayed where he was until Lazarus had been dead for four days. And so now four days later, Jesus comes to where Lazarus is and Lazarus is dead and buried and in a tomb. And when Jesus gets there, he says to Mary and to Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. If you believe in me, though you were dead, yet shall you live. And Jesus says to them, roll the stone away from the opening of this tomb. Remove the stone. Now, I've got some business to conduct. Something I've got to do here. I've got to display the glory and the power of God. No matter what your situation is. 
No matter how dead you think it is, no matter how long it's been dead, Martha says to Jesus, listen, Lord, he's been dead now for four days. And so by now, his body is beginning to stink. No matter how stinky your situation is, when the Lord Jesus shows up, he's still on time to give you the miracle. But you have to believe that I am the resurrection and the life well Lazarus was in the crowd who was in the crowd I want to hear everybody but who was in the crowd I want to hear everybody who was in the crowd all right amen I'm not hearing everybody but who was in the crowd all right everybody was in, everybody was in the crowd and so Lazarus was one of them among them in the crowd glory to God it's a huge parade everybody is there everybody is talking glory to God I looked over in the crowd and I saw there the woman that had had an issue of blood for 12 long years she was in the crowd and so she nudged her neighbor and she said she said to her neighbor she said the last time that I was in a crowd on this magnitude I was the one with the problem the last time I was in a crowd of this significance I had the problem for I had had an issue of and as a matter of fact it was against the law for me to even have been in that crowd but today I'm able to be in this crowd and it's not against the law she said as a matter of fact I had an issue she went on and gave her testimony I had an issue of blood blood had been issuing out of me for 12 years a death sentence was placed on my life by the physicians I went to many doctors here and there I went to the best physicians I went to the greatest specialist known to man in that day glory to God and I spent all of my money and all I did was kept growing worse I never got any better but then I heard I heard about a man named Jesus who was performing miracles, who was a mighty miracle worker. Somebody had said to me that he was the promised Messiah. They said to me that he was the son of David. They said to me that he was the son of God. They said that he had healing in his wings. So I made up in my mind, if Jesus can do all of that, if Jesus is all of that, that, then if I can just touch the hem of his garment then I'll be made whole of whatever issue or whatever disease I have had one thing about it people of God let me say this to you if you don't have a scripture to support what you are believing God for I want to dare you today to believe God anyway Oh, I feel that right there. I said, if you can't find the scripture, if you don't know the scripture to what you are believing God for, believe God anyway. God, I can't skip to that. Because the Bible says that this woman pressed her way through the crowd, crawled on her knees, elbowed people, shoved and pushed people to get out of her way. Why? Because she knew she knew for herself that for the past 12 years, I've been living with this problem. And although I've been living with this problem, this problem is actually killing me. Although I've been enduring this thing, this thing is actually taking the life out of me. As a matter of fact, if, if he can't do it, as a matter of fact, I'm telling the story now. As a matter of fact, if he can't do it, I'm just going to lay down there and die. Because I'm not going to go back home with this thing that has been killing me for the last 12 years and continue to live and die the same time with this issue that I have glory be to God and all of us in here we got an issue we might not call it the issue of blood but there is something that is facing each and every one of us that will bring us into the face of Jesus and ask him to help us again let me go back and say this that if you don't have a scripture on it you've got to believe God anyhow because I just 
thought about the story of a man by the name of Naaman in the book of Kings. Glory be to God, Naaman. He was the captain of the Syrian army. He was the captain of the Syrian army. Glory be to God. But he had a little maid that he had held captive. And she waited on his wife. And the little girl said to the wife one day, she said, Naaman, my master, the boss of this house, he has a sickness and he has a disease that is known as leprosy. His skin falls off of him when he takes his work shirt off. Part of his his skin is left in his sleeves. When he sit down and pick up the utensils, his skin comes off. That disease is called leprosy. He has open sores. He has pus and all. My God, he can't sleep at night. He's itching and scraping himself. This little maid who was carried away captive, she said, I would to God that name and that my boss would go back to Israel and see the prophet because the prophet could cure him of his disease but when I got to the New Testament the New Testament said not one leper not one leper was Elijah sent to but Naaman up until that time there had not been a report of people being healed of leprosy whatever it is that you're desiring from God to do it's not too hard for him it's not too big for him he's still the God that's able to do to do the impossible let me read this scripture again and there were certain Greeks among them them. They came up to the to the fellowship, to the feast and they came up there to worship at the feast it is time for us to realize that when we come into the house of the Lord, we have come to worship, we have come to gather together in the name of the Lord fellowship is lovely unity is lovely but seeing Jesus that's our topic today, see Jesus that's the most important thing, I love you I will love on you. I'll give you a nickel, dime, a quarter, a dollar, 25. The Holy Spirit have to tell. Amen. Glory to God. I'll give you whatever the Lord says for me to give you. But we have to remember the purpose in which we have come to the house of God. We have come to the house of God that we might worship. And in this crowd of people, everybody has a testimony. One lady said, I was bent over for eight 18 years and I couldn't know why I straightened myself out every time I tried to get myself together it seems as if I couldn't straighten myself up when I went to the grocery stores somebody else had to be with me because I couldn't see nothing on a shelf that was above my head so for 18 years I suffered with this condition I was bent over and somebody in here today in a bent over situation you still can't get yourself together no matter how many times you try to straighten yourself out you can't straighten yourself out and God has ordained it that way people of God God has ordained it that way so that we all would realize that we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity each and every one of us we were shaped in iniquity and born into sin God has never wanted any of us to get by and through this life without him being Lord of Lords of our lives my God the whole reason the purpose for your existence is that you would come to know God that you will love him and live for him and enjoy him the rest of his your life for the Bible says that the government shall be upon his shoulders Jesus Christ wants all of us underneath his government he wants all of us translated out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of the dear son where he is Lord of Lords where he is King 
of kings where we are submitted to his will where we go back and understand and know that although I've been called I cannot do it independent of him can I say that one 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 more time although I have been called I cannot do it independent of him he wants me to depend on him as a matter of fact whatever God has called you to if you take a real good look at it you know you can't do it by yourself there is no need of you trying to run ahead of God and get the job done you need God God has always left that little something that little 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 bit of something each one of us all of us who were sinners before we embraced the Lord Jesus Christ there was always that something that let you know you ain't quite got it together but I just got married but something is still lacking before you knew Jesus Christ we just got a new home but something is still lacking come on I just got the best job I ever had in in my life but something is still lacking I can't hardly sleep at night. You need Jesus. Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart. And he's saying, if any man will hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and sup with him and he with me. Jesus says, I will fill the void of your life. Every broken piece of your life, I'm able to put it back together. I'm going to Calvary's cross. I'm going to pay the price to redeem you back to myself. You won't owe man a thing. All you have to do is surrender to me and serve me all the days of your life. It's time for you to be godly sorry. It's time for you to be godly sorrow. It's time for you to realize I've done it my way long enough. And I know this ain't getting me nowhere. I keep going around in circles. Every time I think I'm winning, I'm finding myself self losing I need Jesus I better give Jesus a chance while I can one thing about Jesus he says whosoever will let them come you look at us today you think we're so together it's because of the blood of Jesus it's because of the word of God all of us let me say it again because somebody done forgot all of us were shaping in iniquity and born in sin it took the cross of Calvary it took the blood of Jesus to wash away our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness when we come to the Lord the Lord says to us oh God help me when we come to the Lord the Lord says to us I will take your sin and I will remember them no more I will cast them as far as the east is from the west I'll take Take your sins and I will cast them into the sea of forgetfulness never to remember them anymore I'll take your sin and put it under the blood of Jesus all you have to do is be godly sorrow tell God I'm sorry God I repent Lord I need you come into my heart and save me and the Lord says forget about yesterday the Lord says forget about what happened on the way to church and the Lord says forget about what happened in church if you were asking me to come in I'll take your sin I'll wash you I'll make you whole and nothing and no one shall by any means be able to pluck you out of my hand for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God for by grace are you saved don't get yourself together don't clean yourself up just the day that you hear my voice harden not your heart Today, 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 even today, you hear the voice of God knocking on the door of your heart. You hear.
here you hear Jesus asking you to give him a chance let him be Lord of your life let him in today glory to God why Jesus came Jesus came oh God Jesus came that all of us might have a right to the tree of life Jesus came to make intercession for us Jesus came so that none of us would have to die and go to hell because the absence of the Lord in your life is separation from God and that separation is hell I said the absence of God in your life oh God I said the absence of God in your life it is a sin the absence of God because there's only one question that I learned in this place right here there's only one question that I learned in this institution right here and that question is what did you do with Jesus what did you do with Jesus if you did not accept him then you automatically rejected him and anybody who is not with God you are separated from God and the absence of God is hell hell is in your life because God is not there glory be to God for by grace are you saved not of works lest any man should boast y'all please sit down glory to God amen for by grace are you saved not of works did none of us deserve this did none of us own this well none of us was worthy of this but God sent his son God commended his love God showed his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners Christ died for us don't take it for granted he died for you and he died for me that whosoever will call upon the name of the Lord they shall be saved it is the will of God for all of us to return to God and go back and see Jesus when you get up in the morning he wants us to see Jesus glory be to God there came unto him glory to God certain Jews hallelujah certain Jews came unto him they came up to worship at the feast and while they were in the crowd while they were in the crowd people began to share their testimonies glory to God and these Jews came to Philip and they said to Philip Philip we want to see Jesus Philip take us to Jesus let me tell you this we are in a crowd of people on this morning there is a crowd of people on Facebook there is a a crowd of people on YouTube there's a crowd of people that ain't even watching ain't even turned in would you share now so that they might have an opportunity to come and embrace and to see Jesus this morning glory to God won't you share right now hallelujah glory to God I know you got contacts I know you got friends who you know ain't even at church this morning come on and share glory to God thank you Jesus we would see Jesus listen we have been in the crowd we have been in the crowd we have been among the people glory to God we have heard the various testimonies and as you know we are Greeks we were not born Jewish we don't know all of the Jewish traditions glory to God we know that this was the command for all of us to come and to appear in Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover therefore we are here we are actually proselytes we are actually the ones who have recently become converted we are the ones who are learning this way we don't know this way just yet but glory to God from what we have seen and from what we have heard we too believe that this Jesus is the Christ the son of the living God and so now we want to see Jesus can you get us an audience with Jesus we are coming today to have an audience with Jesus why why did you come to church this morning why are you gathered in this place this morning we pray that it is not just only to be in position in the church we pray that it's not only just to be in position in the assembly or in the gathering but our prayer this morning is that you have come that you might see Jesus 
because Jesus is knocking at the hearts of each and every one of us. And he does not want us to come here Sunday after Sunday, Wednesday after Wednesday, Friday after Friday, Tuesday after Tuesday, Thursday after Thursday, Saturday after Saturday. Glory be to God. He don't want us coming ritually. He doesn't want us coming out of habit. He don't want us coming out of tradition. But he wants us to come that we might see him. That we might continue to hunger and to thirst at the righteousness. So that we might really, really, really be full. Glory be to God. Glory to God. And Jesus, they go to tell Jesus. And so they come and tell Jesus and Jesus says the hour is come that the son of man should be glorified. Jesus, glory to God, those of you who know, you know that he came. He came for the Jewish nation, but all throughout his lifetime, he came for the Jews, but all throughout his lifetime, people just kept interrupting that schedule left and right. Glory to God, because I don't care who you are. I don't care how much money you have I don't care what your pedigree or your background is I don't care what your race or your nationality is I don't care what your ethnicity is I don't care what your age is when it comes to Jesus John was baptizing in the river Jordan one day glory to God and John looked up and when he looked up he said behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world he didn't say who take away the sin of Israel but when he looked up he said behold the Lamb of God his name is Jesus he said behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world and so Jesus says now my hour is come glory to God for me to be glorified he said now it's got to be open to the whole wide world because John has already made the declaration that I have come glory to God that the sins of the world are going to be forgiven one day I'm going to the cross and when I hang there on the cross, whosoever will look upon the cross, whosoever will repent of their sins, they too can be saved. Glory be to God. I'm so glad about it. And I said many of people snuck in, glory to God, even before he was glorified. For there was a Syrophoenician woman whose daughter was home and she was sick in bed. And she came to Jesus and she said, Lord, I need you. I need you to heal my daughter Jesus said to this foreigner he said to this immigrant he said to this foreign citizen this outside person Jesus said to her it's not right for me to give the children's bread unto the dogs she didn't get mad with Jesus because she knew that if anybody was ever gonna help her it had to be Jesus people of God don't get discouraged by what you're facing by what you're going through if anybody's gonna get you out of this it's got to be Jesus as a matter of fact some people have said you will never get out they said you will never get over they said it'll always be the same you need to put that devil under your feet and remind him he is a liar as a matter of fact stomp your right foot right now and say devil you a liar I said stomp your right foot Somebody don't know their right foot Come on and stomp your right foot That your right one, your right one Stomp your right foot right now And remind that devil that he is a liar Because Christ is your head And we are the body And all things are underneath your feet The devil is a liar This woman said I know that's the truth You shouldn't give the bread Oh God to the dogs But even glory to God She said but even the dogs Dogs can eat of the crumbs with the people come on the people who have been in this a long time the people that think they know the way the people that think they're grand glory to God and full of grandeur the things that they are wasting the things that they're overlooking the things that they are not seeing receiving or even seeing won't you come on and give just a little bit of that to me I just want you to heal my daughter and although she was not of the house of Israel 
God went on, Jesus went on and healed her daughter. She's just one. I won't go no further. Glory to God. God has always had the whole world in his scope. He's had the whole world in his view. I'm so glad that he who knew no sin, he became sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I'm going to close because these glory be to God hallelujah I'm gonna close now but people of God let me just go back and remind you uh, what our subject was this morning our subject is see Jesus we gotta go back and see Jesus how God anointed Jesus with power and with the Holy Ghost who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil we have come in this sanctuary that we might see Jesus go back and get on your face and pray and ask God where is the power that you promised to your people get on your face and ask God remind God you told me that I had healing in my hands listen and not only that you got to go back and start inviting people to the house of God go back and get on your phone go through your phone go through your contacts all of them unsaved people that's in your contacts call them up and invite them to church and tell them if you don't see them you taking their name out of your phone glory be to God what about going through Facebook looking at all your your friends tell them if they don't sign in if they don't come in you taking their name you blocking them come on because it's time to go back time is winding up we're in the last hour it is even more serious now than it has ever been before we want to see Jesus and Jesus has said to us today this time it is now the hour for me to be glorified I want to use you to glorify me say that again I want to use you to glorify me say that one one more time I want to use you you to glorify me I want to use your hands I want to use your feet I want to use your mouth I want to use your life I want to use you. am I talking to anybody Am I talking to anybody? Glory be to God. God wants to use you. You are the one that he has chosen. It's time for you to go back and get a personal audience with Jesus. I want to see Jesus. Jesus who is Lord. Jesus who is King. As a matter of fact, I want to take my seat. But I want to say this before I sit down. He is King. Somebody say he is King. Come on, say, he is king. Say it again, he is king. Say it one more time, he is king. I want you to know that he is king. Amen. He is king. We are yielded to him. He is king. We are surrendered to him. He is king. He is our Lord. He is our God. He is king. 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 He is not president. He is king. He is more than commander in chief. He is final authority. He is who was and is and is to come. He is ancient of days. He is the creator and giver of all life. It was him who knew you before you were placed in your mother's womb it is he who knew you who has called you it is he who summons you here on today it is he who knows your end from your beginning he is king he is your creator God and he knows that the only way for you to have a victorious life is to be connected to him and to keep a close connection glory be to God he is king he is king and we I'm really closing I don't know I'm really closing I got time but I'm really closing glory be to God we need to realize that he is king glory to God and as his children glory to God he wants to showcase us to the world that his glory might be seen that his glory might be revealed through us that we might represent him royally as we walk this earth glory be to God for we are kids of the king glory to God we are kingdom ambassadors we are sinners 
citizens of heaven. Glory to God. The Lord has our back. There is nothing that we can encounter that he cannot and will not get us out of and will not take us through. The privileges that we enjoy. 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 Ladies, hear me. As a queen. The privileges that we enjoy. As a queen. We enjoy. Because he is king. I just know I get a bigger response than that. Glory to God. I said what we are enjoying now. We are enjoying it. People of God everywhere. We are enjoying what we are enjoying. Because he is king. He is our king. He is our Lord. He sits high and he looks low. We owe him everything. It is in him we live. It is in him we move. It is in him we have our being. We are who we are because he is who he is. And without him, we are nothing. He is the sovereign Lord of all. He is the sovereign Lord of all. He is everywhere at all times dealing with each and every one of us. For it is not his will that any should perish but that all should come to repentance and it is not his will that we be left where we are but God is looking for fruit God is looking for spiritual maturity God is looking for your hands to be placed to the pile God is looking for your shoulder to be up against the wheel it's time to go to work for God like never before somebody used to sing put your time in payday is coming after a while there was another one about running in my feet and clapping in my hands glory be to God it's time to move for God like never before I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop it's time to move for God like never before I'm coming to church and I'm coming to see Jesus would you please be Jesus today would you please represent Jesus today would you please stand in the gap for Jesus today would you please represent Jesus today would you you please let Jesus use you today I'm coming to see Jesus I might know I might not know your name but when I leave here I want to be able to say that sister that was sitting next to me she touched my hand and when she touched my hand I felt the power of God transform my life would you please let somebody somebody want to see Jesus we've got to see him in the sanctuary we've got to see him in his house he's got to be represented is he represented here today is there a remnant in the house is there anybody that's still saying for God I'll live and for God I'll die I've got to see Jesus I want to be able one day to look in the mirror and see Jesus I'll say it again for myself I want to look in the mirror and see Jesus no longer I but it's Christ that lives on the inside of me I must decrease and he must increase come the more Lord Jesus come the more come the more come the more come the more move us away move us away move us away from our shallow living move us away from our being on the edge move us away from thinking we got enough move us away from thinking we're doing enough take us back to the place of sacrifice take us back to Lord I give up take us back to where we're coming with a broken and a contrite heart take us back where we cry out for souls take us back to healings in the sanctuary take us back to miracle signs and wonders take us back to calling us late in the night early in the morning to have an audience with you take us back to reading our word take us back we want our seat back we want our hunger back we're looking for Jesus as for me I've been saved as for me I've been saved 45 years but I'm looking for Jesus where is Jesus as for me I've been in this thing 
65 years but where is Jesus as for someone else I've been in this thing for five years but where is Jesus something happened along the way I can't get no real help right through here something happened along the way I got distracted oh God when he left something else left to oh God I got distracted when they died oh how I cried and I never recovered I got distracted when my money got stolen when my house was broken into when they repossessed my house when they repossessed my car I got distracted I can't get no help I fell off I stopped seeking God when he walked out and left me with the children I got distracted when he walked off and took the children with him I got distracted when I got fired off my job y'all ain't gonna help me I got distracted I don't love you like I used to love you all I'm doing now is going through the motion but today I want to feel your presence I want to feel your power I want to be restored give me back what I lost I've got to have it back I've got to see Jesus come on Lord I know it's personal it's personal right here I want Jesus you died that I could have a right to the tree of life you died so that I could have everlasting life you died to restore the kingdom of God to bring me unto yourself and I pray now in the name of Jesus here I am I can't get no real help here I am here I am here I am here I am now God here I am I need help that only you can give me hey! I said I need help Lord that only you I wish I had some real people in here today I need help that only you can give me help me Lord help me is there anybody is there anybody crying help me Lord help me help me Lord help me I've got to see Jesus a little dab won't do me I can't go back home come on I can't go back home I can't I can't I can't I can't I can't I've come too far I've Pay too much the sacrifice was great I can't go back home ah, and live like yesterday help me I've got to see Jesus touch me God restore unto me the joy of thy salvation give me life and that more abundantly oh God in the name of Jesus glory to God stand on your feet everybody who can we got to see Jesus we got to see Jesus. We got to see Jesus. We have got to see Jesus. No ifs, no ands, no buts about it. We got to see Jesus. If you're here in the sanctuary, under my voice now, and you want to rededicate your life to the Lord, come to the altar now. If you're here in this sanctuary and you want to give your life to the Lord, come to the altar now. If you know that you know that you know that you heard the voice of the Lord during the course of this message, don't lie to yourself. Don't let the devil lie to you. Come to this altar. Come to the Lord. It's time to see Jesus. It's time to see Jesus. The Lord says, the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. We appreciate God for those who have come, but there are more of you. There are more of you that the Lord is calling. Glory to God. Forget about your neighbor. Think about yourself. Glory to God. This is individual and this is personal. I said forget about your neighbor and think about yourself. I'm telling you there are more of you that you know that you know that you heard the voice of God. You can't go back home and continue to live life as it has been. Come to the altar now. We got to see Jesus. We got to see Jesus. Jesus is calling 
and he's calling by name. Jesus is calling. Oh, I'm telling you, glory to God. Jesus is calling and he's calling by name. I've got to see Jesus. Glory to God. I've got to see Jesus. Glory to God. I've got to see Jesus. Glory to God. Come on. Come on, come on, come on to the altar. There's still time for you. There is still room for you. Come, come, come. Come to the altar. Come. Hear the Lord plead with you this morning. Hear the Lord pleading with you this morning, asking you to come. Come and be restored. Come and be restored. Come and be revived. Come and be repaired. Come on, come on. Get out of your seat and come. Get out of your seat and come. Come on to the altar. Yes, there is more for you in this life than what you have experienced. God is greater than what you have experienced. And he's asking you to come. This day, come out of the crowd and see Jesus. Come out of the crowd and come to see Jesus. Jesus wants to make you whole. Glory be to God. I said he wants to make you whole today. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We would see Jesus. Glory to God. And we don't want to just see him in the crowd. And we don't want to see him from the crowd's perspective. But we want an audience with Jesus. We want a one-on-one -on -one with Jesus. Oh God, this morning, this is your last invitation to come. Glory to God. Come. The Lord is still wooing. The Lord is still wooing. You know you need to come. You know you need to come. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Gird on strength. Put on strength and come. Make that devil out of a liar this morning. Morning. put on strength and come the doors of the church are open come 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 people of God the spirit of the Lord says come 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 glory be to God hallelujah thank you Jesus don't let it be said everlasting or eternally too late father God in the name of the Lord Jesus we thank you for these, your people who have come to this altar on today. Father God, the first prayer we pray is a prayer of repentance. Forgive us. Forgive us, oh God. Forgive us of our sin. Forgive us. Forgive us of all of our unrighteousness. Forgive us of all of our iniquity. Forgive us all of our bad habits. Forgive us every stronghold that is in our life. Forgive us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We are here on this altar this morning because we heard you calling. We're here because we heard your voice. We're here because you have called us to a place of repentance on this morning. We're standing before you naked and bare. Just as we are, God, with every one of our hang-ups. Oh, God, with every one of our irresyncrasies. Oh, God, we're standing on this altar. You know us. You know how messed up we really are. You know how much playing, you know how much pretending, you know how much going through the motions that we have done in our lives. You know our sincerity, oh God, with sincerity of heart. Oh God, we have tried to serve you, but God, we have gone astray. We have done some things our own way. We have taken some situations in our own hands. Oh God, but we repent this morning in in the name of Jesus and Lord we're asking you to help us oh God in the name of Jesus help us to be what you would have us to be help us to know our part in your mission help us to know our part in your service help us to know our part in the call that you have given unto us in the name of Jesus that we might fulfill our role the role that you have given us that we might use our time wisely that we might use our treasure wisely that we might use our talent wisely oh God it is to you we want 
our lives to be glorified. This is your final hour. Oh God, all that we can be. That's what we're desiring to be for you. All that we can be. All that we can become. That is what we are desiring to be for you. You have called us. And again today, we answer the call. You have given us gifts. And again today, we stir up and we activate and we release the gifts that you have given us. Oh, today, God, we run towards you. We don't run away from you, but we run to see you. We run to be used by you. We run that you might get the glory out of our lives. We run and we say, have your way and use us for your glory. We want you to make us new. Revive us on this altar. We're standing on this altar this morning and we're asking for revival, revival, revival. Revive us individually. Revive us corporately, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, let us recover. Let us recover all. Let us recover all in the name of Jesus. God, go back now and redeem the time. Some of us on this altar now, we're asking you uh, to redeem the time oh, oh God we have lost years redeem the time oh God redeem 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 the time for us give us back 15 years God give us back 15 years give us back 15 years restore restore what the canker worm the palmer worm the caterpillar and the locust has destroyed from our lives restore restore Send your latter rain now. Send your latter rain now. As we gird up the loins of our minds, put another yes in our hearts. Put another yes in our minds. Put another yes in our spirits. In the name of Jesus, we want to represent you well. In the name of Jesus, we want to represent you well. Look at us, God, and see your mouthpiece. Look at us, God. God, and use our hands look at us God and use our feet look at us God and use our eyes use our ears only for your glory in the name of Jesus, we've come on this altar to use the gifts that you have given unto us. We will lay hands and they will recover. We will clap our hands unto the Lord. We will lift our voice. We lay down our agendas. We cast down our agendas. We lay down our plans. We go to the mountain of God to find out what God is saying. We're going to the mountain of God to hear from God. We want your will. We want your way. We submit to you. We yield to you. We just say yes. And right now we want to say thank you for doing it again. We want to say thank you for doing it again. Thank you for doing it again. Thank you for doing it again. Thank you. I wish somebody would help me tell the Lord thank you. Thank you for doing it again. Father, any sick among us today we pray now that you touch, that you heal, that you deliver. Let miracle signs and wonders be performed through the holy name of your son, Jesus Christ, we pray. We thank you for raising up those that are sick, raising us up, God. High blood pressure coming down. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Strongholds being broken in the name of the Lord Jesus. Things that we weren't able to do before, we're able to do now by the grace of God. Because Jesus is in his sanctuary and we would see Jesus. We have a face to face. We have a personal audience with Jesus. And we're looking unto Jesus who is the author and the finisher of our faith. And we thank you for it now in Jesus' holy, mighty, righteous name. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. I can't go back home the way I came. I don't have to go back home the way I came. God is here to give me the breakthrough that I need. God is here to give me the answer that I need. Hallelujah. I got 
to come out. I got to come out. I got to come out. I got to come out. Somebody come on out. Come on out. Somebody come on out. Come on out. Come on out. The door is open. The way is made. Come on out. Come on out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. I got to see Jesus. I got to see Jesus. Do what you want to do. I got to see Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, lift your hands and say to the Lord, I thank you for the seed. I thank you for your presence. Thank you for restoration. And we pray for a mind, oh God, to walk in thy word in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before we have our announcements, I just want to say this. For the Lord has shown me that the enemy's warfare against the saints who are really in the house of God. There's like a slow leak. Everybody here know what a slow leak is in a tire? Amen. You don't, you don't really get flat right away, right? But as days go on by, the air comes out real slowly. You look back and the tire is low. What do you do to restore? You put air in it until it will go back out again, right? That's what he's doing to a lot of saints. He's giving them a slow leak in their spirit not noticeable right away until you see something flat. So going forward today, fix the flat. Plug it up. Hallelujah. Plug it up. No more leaks. So you can go on forward to see Jesus. And when you come into the house of God, that should be your focus. Let's give God praise for this pastor. I saw a Holy Spirit move so much today. We give God praise for what he pulled on her to reach the souls today. I saw a great move of God. Amen. And this time, please be patient as we receive our announcements and our offering. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning into our In His Image Facebook and YouTube live streams. We pray you are blessed from the message. See Jesus from our covenant pastor, Patricia Turpin. Please meet us here on Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. We ask that you continue to wear your mask and practice social distancing. We encourage you strongly to please join us on Facebook Live and YouTube Live on Wednesdays and Fridays at 6 p.m. We wanna thank you for your financial gifts to this ministry. We continue to encourage you to give. You can use our cash app, dollar sign, in his image seed. On our Facebook page, you can give via Square Link and PayPal. If you would like to mail in your financial gifts or write how this ministry have blessed you in any way, the address is P.O. Box 1703, Bridgeton, New Jersey, 08302. You can also visit our website at inhisimageministries.net. At in you can access all of our financial apps on our website as well. Noonday Prayer is going on every Monday, hosted by Josephine Elder, Elder Josephine Bole. For prayer requests, please email us at ihibreakthrough at gmail.com. In His Image Food Bank is open the first and third of every Friday from 3 to 6, 335 Gouldtown Woodruff Road. Be mindful to purchase your book bags, fill them with school supplies, and bring them to the church you have until next Saturday, because on next Saturday, which is the 28th, we will host the book bag giveaway. Last day remnant Bible college. Classes will begin on Zoom from on 9-13. Registration orientation will be from September the 10th to September the 13th. Pastor's birthday is on 9-15-2021. Woo, milestone. Amen. We want to celebrate our bishop with our financial support. 
as much as we possibly can, saints. Be mindful of pastor's anniversary coming up in October. We want you to like and share these messages. God bless you all. Stay safe. Keep your distance and wear your mask. Amen. Everybody left. Just before that, Sister Sherry, yes, yes. amen. I want to take the time to acknowledge uh, friends of the family and family that came to support us on today. Would y'all just stand up, please? Amen. Glory to God. You too, Sister Karen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We have May. Glory to God. My sister Coretta, her husband Lamar. Amen. Grandbaby Doogie. Amen. My mama's grandson, Damar. Wave your hand, Damar. Amen. And his wife, Jasmine. Wave your hand, Jasmine. Amen. Glory to God. And Sister Karen, whoever done sat back down in the back. Y'all know Sister Karen. God bless you. Amen. Thank you for that moment. Thank you. Thank you, people of God. Thank you for pulling on the Holy Spirit this morning. The Lord bless you real good. God bless you for everyone left in, that's remaining in the sanctuary and you want to give a financial gift. Our ushers is in the back. If you need an envelope, you can raise your hand and they'll make.